building in progress. How are you going, everyone? Can everyone hear me? Yes. Everyone can hear me? Good stuff. All right, we're going to get started in just a second. Uh, guys, make sure before we get started today, you've got a drink bottle, obviously you're going to need a basketball. Hopefully you've got a uh, skipping rope. If you don't have a skipping rope, that's okay. We can just do line hops. Um, if you're inside and you can't skip and stuff like that, just get something that you can use as a bit of a guide to do some line hops. And if you've got an area where we can potentially lie down a bit later on, there is some core exercises we're going to do as well. Just a few late things, going to make sure everyone's able to get into the meeting. <laughs> and everyone, I can see everyone here. Great to see so many of you on this morning. It's uh, awesome to see your faces. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks, but, um, you know, it's, it's really good to see you all. Oh, we're going to get a really good work today. A bit of a, a mixture of um, basketball and, and fitness. We're going to get moving. We're going to get a bit of a sweat up before school starts. Um, you know, there'll be something for everyone, something for the younger kids, something for the older kids. We'll take some breaks when we have drink breaks. If I can work out the technology, I'm going to do a bit of a screen share and we're going to have some trivia um, and I'll do some riddles and stuff like that as well to try and get your brain working a little bit before, uh, before school starts. So bear with me just a second. Make sure you've got all your equipment. Um, just got to make sure that everyone can get into the meeting. All right. Uh, 
Here we go. Okay, so really quickly before we get started. Can everyone see this screen share? This is just going to be our plan here. Everyone give me a thumbs up on the camera if you can see that. So that's just our, our screen share. That's that's our uh, session plan. So we, we, we need to make sure we've got a drink bottle, basketball, skipping rope, yoga mat. We're going to do a dynamic warm up. We're going to do a cardio block, like a high intensity interval block for cardio, a block for some core, and a block for strength and power to finish off. And then at the end, we're just going to have a big finish. Okay. So it's all sort of intervals. So if you need some sort of a timer, you can grab one. Otherwise, I'm going to be keeping time for you guys. Okay. In between each of these, so probably uh, probably after um, after our, our circuit and then after our big finish, we'll do our trivia. Uh, we'll do our trivia and then we'll do our our, uh, our um, riddles to finish off. All right. So everyone, hop up. Step away from the screen. We're just going to do our warm up really quickly. So it'll be about a three to five minute warm up. Just some body weight exercises and a little bit of skipping as well. So make sure your skipping rope is nearby. All right. Skipping rope nearby, I can see you all. Terrific, okie dokie. No basketball just yet, just our body weight. So we're just stepping back from the camera and we are ready to get going. I also, for those, there's too many in here. I think I've met everyone, but I'm Jared as well, guys. Sorry, I should introduce myself, Zoom 101. For those that haven't met me, if we've got any of our younger uh, double bottoms in from this year that may not have met me, uh, my name's Jared. I work at the club um, and I also play in the NBL one men's team. So. We're just running these sessions just as something for you guys before school, just to get your body moving, get you back up and active, and, and hopefully we'll be uh, ready to go when the stadium opens again in a couple of weeks. So uh, great to have you all here. All right, we'll get into a warm up. Really easy. We're going to go for 30 seconds, just jogging on the spot. No high knees, just nice and easy, just jogging. Let's get everyone moving now. So just jogging on the spot. We're going to get our heart rate up a little bit, and then we're going to grab our basketballs and move into some dynamic stuff. So jogging on the spot, another 10 seconds and we're gonna go into high knees. I'm out in the shed today. I don't know where you guys are. Oh, the weather's not great. All right, here we go. We're gonna to go to high knees. Drive your knees up a little bit. So from the side here, high knees, pumping your arms. Bouncing on the balls of your feet. Good, 15 seconds. It's probably going to be, you'll hear me huffing and puffing in these headphones a little bit. Fitness has dropped off, but that's all right. We've got time to pick it back up. Okay, that's 30 seconds there. Stop for a quick rest. Five seconds. And we're going to go into seal jack. So if you haven't done seal before, it's like a star jump. Okay, star jump, the arms come overhead. For a seal jack, the arms go in front. Arms go in front like so. Okay, so we're going to do seal jacks. So arms go across. So I start with my feet together. My hands in nice and close. As my feet go out, my arms go out. Feet come in, my arms go across. Out, across, out, across, out, across, okay? 30 seconds, here we go. Seal jacks. So again, we're bouncing on the balls of our feet. Getting our upper body nice and warm as well. Great work, guys. I've got like three screens set up here, so. I can see you all working there. I'll do the majority of the exercises with you, but I might take a break, tell you guys to keep going, and then I'll come over to the screen and give you guys some feedback and see how you're doing. Five more seconds of these. Whew. Great work. Awesome, okay, hold it there. So those of you that have done a session with me before, you know this is one of my favorite exercises. It's a bit of activation, a bit of core bit of stretching as well. It's called an arabesque. Really good exercise to get really, really good at. So we'll start on our right leg. Okay, we're gonna balance on our right leg. I want you to just bring your left knee up. Okay, as if you're going up for a left hand layup. And you're gonna drive your left foot back. 
and behind you. And you're gonna bring your chest so that your chest is pointing to the ground. You should feel a bit of a stretch. I'm gonna test my balance out early in the morning. You should feel a bit of a stretch in your right leg. And then you're gonna come back up. We're gonna go back. Again, you can have hands out wide for balance. Or you can have hands forward like a bit of a Superman. I'm gonna come back up. We're gonna do five on each leg. Five arabesques on each leg. I'm gonna to come to the screen and uh, see how you guys are doing. Good, arabesque, what are you doing? Matty, you already, oh, there he goes. So it's really important you keep that off leg active. So don't just let that leg dangle. So when we're kicking back here in an arabesque, see how that leg's just hanging? We want that leg up. Don't let it just dangle down here. We need to activate that weak side glute as well. So a nice straight line from head to heel. Good job, once you've done five on each side, excellent. We'll hold it there. Good, good. So test your balance out. If you're having the balance, focus on one spot on the ground. Focus on just the points on the ground. If you're outside, it might be, might be a look. If you're inside, it might just be a line in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the floorboards or in the tiles and just focus on one spot on the ground and that'll help with your balance. All right, make sure you do five on each leg again. That leg is staying active. We're not letting that leg dangle. We're keeping our core nice and tight and our back nice and flat. All right. Last one we're gonna do is a body weight squat. Again, hopefully by this stage, even you younger kids that are in here, the under 12s and things like that, you will have done some squatting before. Okay, really good movement in terms of strengthening our lower body and our core. Um, and obviously there's a range of benefits in terms of transferring to basketball. So we're just gonna do 10 body weight squats to warm up, um, warm up our lower body. So when we're squatting, you wanna have your feet. You're gonna have your feet about hip distance apart. If you haven't done squats before, we're about here, okay? And from the side, it's like we're sitting down on an imaginary chair, okay? So there's no chair behind us. It's like we're sitting down on an imaginary chair. So sit your bum back, come down and explode up, straighten your knees and hips. Sit your bum back, try and keep your back straight and come back up. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those. A few of those movements are gonna build into the, uh, the cardio portion of what we're doing when we, uh, when we get moving a bit later on. That squat movement, being able to bend your knees and bend your hips at the same time. And you can see how that transfers really well to basketball, all right? That's like a shooting motion there. I'm down in the squat, it's like a defensive stance. I go up for a rebound and I land. Okay, I need to be able to land and squat. Okay, that, that being able to get into that position quickly um, and efficiently is really, really good. Good job, guys, excellent, well done. Awesome, it's great to see so many of you today. I've got, is that Sienna? Don't worry about it, you don't have to have your camera on, guys. If you've got your camera on, that's awesome, because I can see and I can give you some feedback, but if you can't have it on, don't stress, that's okay. And at some point, if you can come to the camera after we uh, get done with our first, um, few rounds of, of high intensity intervals, we're gonna do a bit of trivia and you can turn your microphones on and have a bit of a chat. All right, so we're gonna move now. All right, we've done our warm up. So if you need to grab a quick drink, grab a quick drink. We're gonna move really quickly into um, our first circuit, which is a cardio circuit. All right, it's a cardio circuit. So you're gonna need your basketballs. Uh, you're gonna need your basketball and uh, you might need a timer, you, you should be okay. I'll keep time for you guys. Essentially, what we're doing is we're gonna do 20 seconds of work. So we're gonna do each exercise for 20 seconds and then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds. So it's gonna, it's gonna change through the exercises pretty quickly. All right, exercises, we've got our basketballs. The first exercise is a high knees. So we're driving our knees up, but you've got to dribble at the same time. So we've got high knees. And we're dribbling, so just a pound dribble. Okay, driving your knees up as high as you can. I don't mind if you want to dribble left or right, it's totally up to you. Okay, we're going to do that for 20 seconds. Okay, we're not going to do it right now. I'm just taking you through the three exercises we're going to rotate through. So the first one is high knees. All right, the next one is a squat jump. Okay, next one, uh, sorry, yeah, next one is a squat jump and then two pound dribbles. So we're going to hold the basketball. All right, we're going to go up into a squat jump. So we're going to go up, land, one, two. Up, and we'll swap hands, left hand, one, two. So jump, one, two. Jump, 
One, two. Okay, we're going to do that for 20 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. And the last one, last one is a skater jump. So a skater jump is like a side to side hop. So I'm on my left foot right now. I push off, land on my, land on my right. Okay. Two dribbles, push off, whoop. land on my left, two dribbles, push off, whoop. land on my right, two dribbles. Don't worry too much about how far you jump in this one. It's more about the speed. One, two, one, two, push off, one, two. You can add that crossover in between, push off, but get really good at trying to land and balance on one leg. If you're new to this, you haven't done a lot of balancing landing on one leg, you can jump and land on two legs but just push off one leg. So if we're here, pound, pound, push off, land on two legs, pound, pound, jump off one and land on two, pound, pound, all right? Anyone got any questions quickly about that one before we get cracking? No, we're good to go. All right, everyone step away from your camera. So our first one we've got is high knees with a dribble for 20 seconds. Here we go, in three, two, one. Here we go, high knees with the dribble. Let's go, 20 seconds. Let's get, those heart, let's get the heart rate up. Pound that ball. High knees, driving knees up as much as you can. Here we go, 20 seconds. That's 10 if you want to swap hands. I'm going to swap to my left for the second lot of 10. High knees, drive them up. Good, three, two, one, and rest. So we've got 10 seconds rest. And then we're into our squat jump. So we're squat jump, pound, pound. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Jump, pound, pound. Jump, pound, pound. Jump, pound, pound. Jump, I'm alternating hands. You can do what you like. Pound, pound. Here we go, five seconds. Jump, pound, pound. Jump, pound, pound. Three, two, one. Hold it there, great work. 10 seconds rest, five seconds to go. We're into our skater jumps with the dribble. So I'm starting on my left foot, three, two, one. Skater jump, dribble. Skater jump, pound, pound. Skater jump, pound, pound. Push off, pound, pound. Good, side to side, testing out our balance. Let's go, five seconds. Push off, push off. And rest. Good job. All right, we're going to do that two more times through. All right. Have a quick rest. A little bit longer in between sets. We're going to go three rounds total. So that's one round. So we're back to our high knees. Three, two, one. Here we go. High knees. Pound dribble, high knees. I'll tell you when we get to 10 seconds. High knees, drive them up, that's 10. Swap to your left. Go as hard as you can for 20, here we go. Three, two, one. We've got 10 seconds rest. We're into our squat jump with a dribble. Make sure you get low on that landing. Three, two, one. Here we go, squat jump, pound, pound. Oh, how's that handle? Here we go, squat jump. Down, down. Squat jump. Down, down. Squat jump. Down, down. Good. Squat jump. Down, down. So you make sure you get down low. Here we go. Five seconds. Keep working. Three. One more. Two. One. Good job. You got 10 seconds. We're into our skater jumps. Skater jump side to side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Side to side, pound, pound. Side to side, pound, pound. Skate to jump, pound, pound. Skate to jump, pound, pound. Push off. Keep your balance. Good job, guys. Keep working. Push off, pound, pound. Push off, pound, pound. Push off. Five seconds. Three, two, one, good job guys, excellent. Have about a 15, bit of an extended rest. Not too long, if you've got time, grab a quick drink. If not, we're into our last set. 
Everyone looks like they're doing a great job. Does anyone have any questions really quickly? Good job, we're doing well. Should be getting our heart rate up a little bit. Last set of the cardio. Here we go, everyone jump up. Into our high knees. Three, two, one. Here we go, high knees, pound that ball. High knees, pound that ball. Let's go, let's go hard. Last cardio session. Last cardio round. Swap, left hand, here we go. High knees, drive those knees up. Good job, good job, good job. Three, two, one. Good job, 10 seconds rest. Jumps with a pound dribble. Three, two, one. Here we go, two hands on the ball. Jump up, pound, pound. Jump up, left hand, boom. Jump up, right hand, pound. Good job, keep going. Jump up, left hand, pound. Good work, guys, keep working. Pound, pound. Up, pound, pound. Up, pound, pound. Keep working, five seconds. Up, pound, pound. And rest, good job. 10 seconds rest, last one. Last exercise, skater jumps. Ooh. I'm gonna start on the right side now. Three, two, one, skater jump, down, down, cross over, skater jump, down, down, cross over, skater jump, down, down. Get that rhythm going. Stay low in your landing. Good, push off, good. Push off. Good job. Three, two, one. Excellent. Well done, guys. Drink. That's our cardio set done. Hopefully, let's get your heart rate up a little bit. Certainly got mine up. You guys might be fitter than me, though. All right. We're going to move into our strength and power. I'm not going to skip the core, but I want to keep your head up for a little bit. Um, I think the, the strength and power one, now we've got our heart rate up, finish with core, okay? So if you don't have a space to lie down or come to the ground, that's okay. That's all right. We've got three exercises. Again, same setup, so three exercises. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, okay? 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Everyone should be grabbing a real quick drink. Real quick drink. All right, so our three exercises are, we've got a jump lunge with the legs. All right, so it sounds a bit, just, just tune in for a second. It's not as hard as it sounds. So what we're going to do, a jumping lunge. So a lunge is like a split squat. So if we go one foot forward and back, and then we drop our back knee down, that's a lunge, okay? So all we're doing is you can just do a lunge if you want, okay? So if you don't want to do a jumping lunge, that's okay. All right, 20 seconds worth of jumping lunges three times is going to be pretty tough, okay? But we're just doing a lunge. If you want to do the jumping lunge, it's just like that, okay? So you're just exploding up, okay? If you're just doing a normal lunge, you're just gonna come down, drop that back knee down and come up. All right, what we're doing is we are gonna swap legs each time. So if you're doing a normal lunge, I've got my right leg forward here, my left leg back, I come down into a lunge and then I go through the legs dribble, okay? Down into a lunge, through the legs dribble. Lunge, through the legs. If you're doing a jump, Obviously, you're just going to add a jump to that. You can swap legs. It's a bit easier to swap legs. Those that are just doing a stationary lunge, you're going to have to swap legs after 10 seconds. So if we're doing a jumping lunge, I'm down here. I jump and swap and go through the legs. Jump and swap, go through the legs. Jump and swap, go through the legs. Jump and swap, through the legs. Jump and swap, through the legs. If you're just stationary, you're going to be down for a lunge, through the legs, down for a lunge, through the legs. And after 10 seconds, you'll squat and you'll put the other leg forward. All right, so that's our lunge bit. Then the next one, this is where you might need to come to the ground a little bit. All right, or you can use a wall. If you can't do a push up, that's okay. 
is you can use the wall, okay? But we're gonna do a push up using our basketball. Now you might need to do a push up on your knees as well. That's absolutely okay. I've got, I'm out in the dirty shed here, so I'm gonna put my mat down. All right, so we're gonna do a push up. We've got a hand on the basketball and we're up into a plank position. We come down to a push up. We're gonna roll the ball across to the other hand. Push up on the other hand. You can do this on your knees. So you can go on your knees, that's okay. That's actually probably encouraged for a lot of you. Maybe you won't be able to do the normal push up, that's okay. So we're down, push up on the ball, roll it across, push up on the ball, roll it across. If that's too challenging or you don't, you don't have somewhere to come to the ground, that's okay, you can do it against the wall. I'm just gonna lift my camera up really quickly here. Twist the wall here, put the ball, oh, put the ball against the wall here. So you can go, so you're using a wall and you're pushing against the wall, roll the ball across, push against the wall, roll the ball across. Make sure your ball's not dirty. And you're not putting marks and rolling the ball across the wall. <laughs> Mum and dad are gonna kill me for telling you to roll the ball across a wall, okay? Otherwise we're on our knees or we're into a normal push up with that one using our basketball. And the last one is just squat pulses. Okay, the last one is just squat pulses with a behind the back dribble. So again, I'm just gonna move my mat back slightly. So again, for 20 seconds, we're not all the way down in a deep squat. We're just in, a, in about a quarter squat here. Okay, and we're just gonna be pulsing up and down like so. But so we're gonna try and go behind the back at the same time. All right, so we're in little, little squat pulses. Squat pulse with a behind the back dribble. If that's a bit too advanced and you're not quite at that stage with the behind the back dribble, just go in front. So squat pulses, little just low, don't ever come all the way out. So you're never coming all the way up. You're gonna stay low the whole time. So we're staying in that like seated position. And you're just pulsing in that low position. All right. If you can go behind the back, go behind the back. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. There are our three exercises. Does anyone have any questions before we do our next three rounds of that? No, ready to go. Everyone's like, shut up, Mossy. Let's get to work. All right. Good stuff. Everyone jump up. Ready to go. So we've got our... We've got our jumping lunges for 20 seconds. Jumping lunges for 20. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jumping lunge through the legs. Jumping lunge through the legs. Lunge through the legs. Let's keep that heart rate up. Through the legs. 20 seconds. Here we go. Good. Jumping lunge through the legs. If you're just doing a normal lunge, go through the legs, come down, bounce again, come down, and swap. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Rest. We're down into a push-up position. Down into a push-up position, and you're up against the wall. Got Ten seconds rest. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down for one. Roll it across. Two. Roll it across. Three, here we go. Four, good job, keep going. If you're on your knees, that's okay. Five, roll it across. Six, let's go to eight. Seven, and eight. Good job, have a rest. Have a rest, 10 seconds. We're into our squat pulses. So we're up, we're off our mat again. Three, Two, one, here we go. Get down nice and low, behind the back, pulsing up and down, but staying low. Stay nice and low. Stay low, low, low. Don't come all the way out. Sit down. Good job. That's 10 seconds, halfway. Really challenge yourself with that dribble. If, you, if you're a bit more experienced, try and pound that ball behind the back or in front. Five seconds. Whoa. Oh dear, here we go. Three, two, one. Excellent, good job. You got 10 seconds rest and we're back into our plyo lunges. How's everyone doing? Give me a thumbs up if you're going okay. Awesome, Sean, Colton. Yep, Adam, are you doing it, Adam? Or are you just watching? You look like you're just watching, mate. Don't you give me a thumbs up. 
Kayla, good job. Anton, I can see you guys there. Good job, Lockie. Fletch, can't see Fletch. Good job, Hamish. All right, guys, up and about. Here we go. Plyo lunges or jump lunges, sorry. Here we go. Second set, jump lunges. Three, two, one. Take off, through the legs. Take off, through the legs. Oop. Take off, through the legs. Here we go. Let's get that heart rate up. You can go a bit quicker. If you're getting the hang of this, you can go straight into a dribble. Whoop. If you can dribble, like me. Here we go. 10 seconds. Jump high, up, Whoop. high, down, down. Three, two, one. Good job. Down into our push up position. Ready to go in 10. Here we go, down into our push up. Three, two, one. Here we go, there's one. Let's see if we can get 10. Here we go, two. Again, you can do these on the wall. Three, four. Here we go, let's go for 10. Five, you can do these knees. Six, seven, good job. Eight, back up to the toes, two more. Nine, last one, 10, good job. 10 seconds rest. Squat pulses, squat pulses, here we go. Three, two, one, get low. We're bouncing up and down here. Get in a rhythm with the ball. Get in a rhythm with the ball. Bouncing, but not coming out of our stance. We're staying low the whole time. Here we go. Good job, good job. You can go in front. If you want to go in front, that's fine. Stay in a rhythm. Here we go, five seconds. Stay low, working those quads out. Three, two, one, awesome. Good work, guys. Excellent, I can see you all working. Good job, Maddie. Good job, Amelia and me, I can only see one of you. Good job, guys. Good job, Ben. Good job, Chase. Job, Grace, Mason, or Mason Cruz, Mason, Sarah Cruz. All right, here we go, last set. Plyo lunges, I'm gonna face the other way now just to confuse you guys. Here we go, jump lunges, three, two, one. Let's go We're up for one, through the legs. Up, two, through the legs, up, three. Just scissor those legs in the air, Whoop. four. Scissor those legs in the air, swap them over, five. Here we go, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Five more seconds. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job. Rest. Down for a push up. Down for a push up. Good job. Keep working. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get ten. One, ten push ups. Do them on your knees. Two. Do them against the wall if you have to. Three. Four. Here we go. Five. Let's get ten. Halfway. Six. Seven. Good work, guys. Nice, strong core. Eight. Roll that ball back and forth. Nine. Last one. Oh, ten. Here we go. And up. Squat pulses. Come on, keep working, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, stay low. Here we go, crossovers. You can go in front, make sure we're pulsing. Pulsing, so from the side, it looks like this. Moving up and down, ever so slightly, not really coming out of my stance. Here we go. Good job, guys. Keep working, stay low, let's cause the sun to burn. Oh, five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, good job. Quick drink, quick drink. Come to the screen. Got a little bit of trivia for you guys. We've only got about 10, 15 to go. Okay, I don't know what all your school setups are. Hopefully you guys have got time before you got to have some breakfast and get ready for school. I'm going to screen share. This is... This is revolutionary stuff here. You guys are welcome to chuck your microphones on. We're gonna do some trivia. A little bit of trivia, we've got five questions. 
I haven't come up with a prize yet, but I'll come up with something. Now, where's, I think I saw the Hannigan boys, yeah. You boys don't cheat. I used a couple of similar questions that I used on Sunday with the development program, so you guys aren't allowed to cheat. <laughs> you might know them, but I've changed them up a little bit. Oh, can everyone see? Yeah. 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 Everyone yep. can see yep. that. Yep. 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 Sorry, that's my fault. All right, here we go. Bit of trivia for your Tuesday morning. The rules are pretty simple. The rules are first person to click a thumbs up or any emoji. So if you're on an iPad, uh, if you're on an iPad, you can. The, two, the three little dots on the right-hand side, you guys are kids. I'm guessing you guys know how to use the emojis. You can do it in the chat if you want, or you can just use the little emoji like here. There we go. <laughs> I've just done a little celebratory. Okay. I can see most of your cameras. So the other thing is too, you can just give me a quick thumbs up if you know the answer. And I'm scrolling through and I'll find you. Once I call out your name, if you know the answer, unmute your microphone. Unmute your microphone and I'll... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask you the answer. Sorry, Armstrong kids, I just saw your, uh, your thing there. If you can't do push-ups, that's okay. Hopefully you were able to just do some more, do some more lunges. Okay, here we go. First question, guys. Ooh. Who was this season's NBA Rookie of the Year? Oh, Lockie Birham. Quick. Go on, Lockie. Who was it? It was Lamella Ball and he plays for Charlotte. That's correct. He plays for Charlotte. Who owns the Charlotte Hornets? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Does anyone know who Jordan. owns the Charlotte Hornets? Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, who got that? Michael Jordan owns the Charlotte Hornets. There you go. That's correct. Well done, Lockie Birham. All right, question two. This is a tricky one. I changed this up from Sunday. Name the third leading scorer. Go on, Armstrong kids. Name the third leading scorer. Yeah. Unmute yourself. Matisse. Nah, Zach's had a crack, Matisse. Does anyone that's not correct? It's a bit of a trick one. You probably think he would be the second leading scorer. Stop Armstrong it. kid. Is it Ingles? Ingles? Yeah. That's correct. Joe Ingles, third leading scorer, 11.7 points a game. Good job. Jock Landau was second with 12.8. All right, question three. Good job. Which team won the 2020-2021 NBL Championship? Pretty easy one. Melbourne. On, Zach. Melbourne United. Melbourne United. Yeah, that's right. Melbourne United. Zach, name Melbourne. a Frankston Blues player that played on the team. Um, David Anderson. Correct. Who can name the other? This is a really tough one. Who can name the other Blues player that played on that team? Didn't play in the championship game. Dylan Stipe. Dylan, Dylan Stipe. Who got that? Someone's just yelling it out. I like yeah. it. Yeah, nice. Good job. Dylan Stipe, our import for NBL one team. And obviously, Dave Anderson was the other one. Good job. I think that was Colton. All right, here we go. Question four. Which of these four teams is not in the WNBA? I need a different one. The Armstrong kids know the answers to every question because they do every set. Oh, Blake? Oh, Blake? Oh, Blake? Lightning. Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma, that's correct. The other three. Oklahoma. The other three are clearly in the WNBA. Does anyone know the name of the WNBA team that was in Oklahoma? I don't believe they're there anymore. Does anyone remember the name? It starts with a T. Oh. Tigers. Thunderbirds? No, no it's, a, it's, a, it's a town. It was Tulsa. Tulsa. All right. Last question. Here we go before we move on to our big finish. Last question. Spell as his last name. Now, don't yell this out. I'm going to need someone to put their hand up. I'm looking for someone different here. Spell Ezzy's last name. Who's got it? Is that Matilda? Have you still got your hand up? No, you've taken it down. The Jenkins boys, did you want to have a crack at it or not? Nah. Who's it, bro? Who wants to have a crack at it? Ezzy's last name. I can oh. say it. It's, it's oh, Magvagor. Oh. Sienna, do you want to have a go? I can't see your screen. I can see you just put a thumb up, thumbs up. I've gone. M-A-G-B-E-G-O-R. Correct. Magbegor. M-A-G. Magbegor. B-E-G-O-R. Good job. All right. Jump up. That's enough of a rest. We're going to do our big finish. Everyone jump away from your screens. Grab your basketballs. 
We're going to have big finish. Slightly different. We're going to grab our skipping rope. What did I do? Grab your skipping rope. We're going to mute our, mute our microphones again. If you don't have your skipping rope, that's okay. I want you to do seal jacks or star jumps if you don't have your skipping rope. So grab your skipping rope. I'm just going to mute everyone again really quickly, as much as I love hearing from you all. And unmute myself. Good stuff. All right. Here we go. Big finish. We've got three exercises. We're going to go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So the first exercise is skipping. We've got our skipping rope. I don't mind how you want to do this. If you want to do, if you want to mix it up, if you're a proficient skipper, you might want to mix it up. You might want to do one leg at a time for 10 and then swap and do left leg for 10. All right, I'm just going to go two feet, okay, for my 40 seconds, but I might mix it up in the second and third round, okay? If you haven't done any skipping before, that's okay. We're going to learn as we go through these sessions and you'll learn over time. It's a really great exercise for basketballers. Great for cardio, great to build strength in our lower, in our feet, ankles, knees, okay? If you don't have a skipping rope, that's okay. Star jumps, okay, or seal jacks. Very similar thing, 40 seconds, all right? Then the, la the second one is a wall sit. So if you don't have a wall, that's okay. If you don't have a wall, we're just gonna do a squat sit, okay? So it's gonna come down, hold that position like a defensive stance. We'll grab our basketballs for that one because I've got a couple of different things I want you guys to do with the basketball. So keep your basketball nearby so you can grab it when we're finished skipping. All right. And then our last one. Our last one's a little bit of footwork. So we're doing line hops. So I'm not sure if everyone can see the line I've got in my concrete just here. I've got a line in my concrete just there. Just here. Okay. And we're just doing line hops. So we're just going to be side to side as quickly as we can. Again, if you want to mix that up, you can go forward and back. Okay, you might split your feet and mix it up. Just a little bit of footwork. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. We're going to try and get two rounds of this, maybe three, depending on how we're going for time. We're, we're pretty tight on at 8.15 finish, okay? Everyone grab your skipping ropes. So we're skipping, wall sit or squat hold, and then line hops. Here we go. 40 seconds, got my timer. Three, two, one. Here we go, skipping for 40. So get a nice rhythm going. Good job, get a nice rhythm going. We've got 40 seconds. This is our big finish here, guys. So let's get a really good sweat up. It's been really good work today. Getting in nice and early sets you up for your day. Here we go. There we go, let's get a nice rhythm going. If you wanna mix it up, add some hops in. Swap from leg to leg, it's up to you. Remember it's 40 seconds. So we've still got about another 10 seconds to go. It's a good block of work. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job, excellent. Chuck your rope down, grab your basketball. We're into our squat sits or a wall sit. If you're in a wall sit, you can put your back against something and you got a wall here. Okay, that's great. We're going to have our basketball and we're going to dribble figure of eight. Figure of eight or just crossovers in front. I'm just going to do a squat sit. So I'm just going to sit down and do a squat in five seconds and I'm still just going to go figure of eight. We're going to stay down there for 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Everyone sit down. I'm coming a bit closer to the camera so I can see you all. Good job. Here we go. Sit down. If you're on a wall sit, that's okay. Just don't, don't have your bum resting on anything. Just have your back pressed against the wall. Good, bigger of eight, sit down, let's go. Sit down a little lower, Matilda. So it's, it's more about the squat sit than it is about the dribbling. Sit down low, bend your knees, Sean. Bend your knees, Maddie. stay really low. Here we go. Try and keep your eyes up so you can see everything. Good job, good job, keep working. 10 seconds, 40 seconds sitting down in this position. We're building that, conditioning back into our legs. Three, two, one. Good job, hop up. All right, basketball down, but not too far away. We've got our line hops. Line hops, so find a line, or if you don't have a line nearby, you can use your skipping rope. 
you don't have a line, you can use your skipping rope to jump over. Here we go. Five seconds. So I'm just going two feet side to side for 40. You can mix it up and you can go two feet forward and back, or you can split. Three, two, one. Here we go. Push yourselves. Push yourselves. Get side to side movement here. It doesn't have to be big hops. It's quick hops. So we're staying on our toes. Quick hops. Here we go. Side to side, side to side. Good work, good work, good work. Good job, good job. Here we go. Oh, got a message. Oh, who's that? Oh, I missed that. Sorry. I'm trying to do my line hops. I'll see you in a second. Keep working, guys. 10 seconds. Side to side, side to side. Calves should be starting to fatigue a little bit. Try and keep your speed up. Finish off strong. Three, two, one. Awesome, guys. Good job. Line hops. That's a good one for 40. What are you doing, Zach? I just see Zach standing around with his hands in his pockets. Uh, good work, guys. Excellent. All right, we're right at about 8.14. I'm conscious of time. <sighs> really quickly before we go. That's our big finish. So grab a drink. Uh, we're not trying to beat, beat any world records in our first session. In Thursday's session, we'll do some similar stuff. So I won't have to explain all the exercises again. If you guys come back Thursday, we'll be able to get a bit more done. We might be able to do our core circuit if we've got time. Really quickly to finish, just to get you guys, get your noodles working for the day. I've got some riddles. Jeez. You can tell I've had some extra time in lockdown, can't you? Riddle time. So same rules as before. This is just to get your brains working before school. A couple of riddles for you. Again, same rules. Give us a thumbs up, put your microphone on, give us a thumbs up emoji uh, or, or just a thumbs up on the camera, whatever works for you. A couple of riddles, they're not too hard today. I've got some pretty good riddles up my sleeve, but I don't want to bring out the best of my, my best material on the first session. So here we go. This one's a nice, easy one, a bit of a home run to start with. Chase is already putting his thumbs up, mate. That's, that's cheating, mate. You jumped the gun there. Here we go. Which word becomes sh shorter? I'll add two letters to it. Nice, easy one. Bit of a thinker, though, at 8.15 in the morning. Which word becomes shorter when you add two letters? Any thumbs up? Matty, Matty Polglaze, go on. Oh, Lockie again, we'll go, Matty. Yeah, well done, mate. You're, you're a clever man. Well done. The answer is short. You add the E and the R and it becomes shorter. So just so everyone can see that. Well done. Lockie had his hand up as well. I'll give you credit for that one. But Matty, Matty Polglaze, well done, mate. Here we go. A rail, this is a sentence. So have a look at the sentence. A rail, a railroad crossing without any cars. Can you spell that sentence without any R's? So it's a bit of a riddle. It's a bit of a rhyme. A railroad crossing without any cars. Can you spell that? without any R's. A bit of a swan. Lockie, does anyone else want to have a go? Lockie, you have a go, go mate. All right. Go on. Yeah, you can spell that without any R's. Yeah, go on. Um, T-H-A-T. <laughs> well done, mate. You, you're all over it. So it's a bit of a trick. That's the whole point of it. It's, it's a bit of a misdirection. So can you spell that? Without any R's, T-H-A-T, -T. of course you can. Can't spell railroad crossing without any R's. But can you spell that? So trick question, well done, Lockie Burham. No more answers from you, mate. You're, you're destroying my quiz and my trivia. Too clever. All right, last one. This one, you probably heard this before. It's one of my favourites. You're running a race, and at the very end, you pass the person in second place. What place did you finish the race in? Let's go Colton Johnson. Go on, mate. Far away. You've been putting your hand up the whole time. Second. Yeah, well done, mate. You finished second. Everyone thinks you finished first, but you don't. You, you, you take over the person in second, so you take their position. All right. Well done. Answer is second. That's the end of the quiz, guys. That's the end of the trivia. And that is the end of our session today. I hope you got a bit of a workout in. I'm certainly, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm certainly sweating here. Um, but I'm probably less fit than you guys. I uh, should be a lot fitter. So thank you for joining me today. Um, have a great day. I know it's tough right now. I know it's hard. Um, we're not sure what's going on just yet. Um, but one thing we are sure of is that we can keep, you know, staying engaged with each other. Make sure you stay engaged with your teams. I'm sure the coaches are doing a great job 
keeping you guys engaged and keeping you guys together. But make sure you reach out to your teammates, uh, reach out to your coaches, um, stay locked in with your school, even if it's just for the first few hours of the day, get your school work done. Um, you know, keep drinking plenty of water, eating, eating healthy and we'll be back on court before you know it. Okay, guys. I'll see you all. Uh, I'll see you all Thursday morning. I'm going to try and get some other guests oh, in, some other NFL ones. Zach's birthday. Oh, it's Zach's birthday. Which Zach? Zach Taylor. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Zach. Oh. Happy birthday. Gee, I'd, mate, birthday, I'd Zach. sing birthday. I'd sing happy birthday, but I'm running out of time. I'd, I'd sing. I'd absolutely. I'd sing happy birthday, but I've only got a free account, mate, and it's telling me I've only got thirty seconds. Yeah, you know, ten seconds left on my account. So. That's all right. <laughs> Happy Thanks, birthday, Zach. Thank you. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day. Thanks, Mochi. No worries. Thank you, Jared. Thursday. Thank you, Jared. Stay healthy, guys. Look after yourselves. See you soon. Get on your scout. Get on your Bridie. Get on your Anton. See you, guys. See ya. Okay. Good on you. See you, Anton. See you, Colton. Oh. See you, guys. See you, Anton. See you, Colton. Good on you, mate.